it's Adria from Beauty Gloss and Glaze and I welcome you all to the channel. I'm here with a new video and this one is a bit different as in not exactly different because this is a beauty video. But I thought that a lot of people on YouTube and on other beauty centers would tell you how to choose a specific foundation for yourself or how to choose your shade, how to know all that stuff. But I decided to do a video so that I could tell you how to choose a primer for your skin. Now this is very interesting and very important. So if you are interested, subscribe to my channel, like, hit the like button and hit that bell button so that you get all the notifications when I upload a new video and stay tuned. This all depends on what is your skin type. The type of primer that you choose depends on what kind of skin do you have. Do you have a more poor, uh, poor, do you have more pores on your skin or is your skin more dry is your is it more oilier is it more pigmented or what kind of primer do you need depends on you knowing what your type of skin is now my skin is more oily and it has more pores so all the primers that i have are definitely for pore filling and our pore filling formulas but there's so many other primers and let's start with the pore ones and then I'll take you through all other different kinds of primers. Now for the pore filling primers I have these few. My definite favorite is the Benefit Professional one. Uh, I don't have it in this box right now but I do use it on a regular basis and I definitely use it when I know that I'm applying a heavy base or when I'm going to a wedding where I know that a lot of pictures would be taken and all that stuff because it gives your skin a very beautiful finish. And the other tip is that if you have pores and you use a primer like um, benefit professional what it will do that it will actually disappear your pores even before you've applied foundation now generally when you apply a primer and you dab it into your skin uh, you see that it makes your skin smooth but it doesn't necessarily disappear your pores but then you apply the foundation and you see that the primer had filled the pores so now when you apply the foundation it'll, it is all more clear and more smooth so that's the disadvantage of a primer which is colorless but the benefit professional one has a skin type tint to it so if you apply it and even if you don't want to apply a base and just apply a very slight bb cream or if you want to apply a face powder it would not go into your pores and make you look smoother and it would not show pores on your cheeks or face or wherever they are. So the primers that I have are these few. The first primer that I recommend if you have pores is the Benefit Professional one. And the second one that I'd recommend is by Makeup Forever and it's the Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. I have this size in it. You get it in this size 2 and the other size 2. I took it, I, it was in some... Uh, saving box or something like that i bought it from sephora but you can get it in the full size too but i like this primer it has a tint to it too i'll show you right now it does have a tint but it's not as good as my benefit professional one this is the tint to it when you rub it onto your skin it would fill into the pores and it would appear as if you don't have pores because it has a skin type into it now the other primers that i have is this one is by Too faced it's their primed and poreless pure oil-free skin smoothing face primer for sensitive skin this is how it looks like now this one is a clear primer like i'll show you the consistency this is the consistency and it's a silicone based primer and it does not have a tint to it but it is a very good primer nevertheless when you have to use a good base with it because it would definitely disappear your pores the other primer that i have is by la girl pro prep hd high definition smoothing primer now i bought it recently so i don't really know how it works because i've not really tried it a lot of times but how however this one is a good one too if you are on a budget now the next primer that I have is by Clinique and it's their Super Primer Universal Face Primer Base. This one is not for pores. It is a universal primer. You can Anybody can use it with pores, pigmentation, with anything. And this is just a simple primer. If you are that uh, lucky girl who doesn't have anything, you definitely would need this one because this is a primer for those people who don't really have any problem with their skins. And it would just smooth out 
the base so that you could apply your foundation more easily. Now the next type of primers is for people who have pigmentation. I definitely have seen some by NYX and by ELF and there are tons of different companies which make primers. They have a green tint to it and they'll just you know mattify and also cover all your pigmentation and that's the primer you should go for if you have pigmentation or if you have redness on your skin that's the primer you should go for definitely now I don't have these primers but I will definitely put pictures of these over here or over there whatever but I will definitely put the pictures so it's easy for you to see what type of primer I'm talking about now the next type of skin is a dry skin and for dry skin you have to look for something which is hydrating uh, and I've heard a lot of good things about the LC face primer it's white colored glass bottle and I've heard so many good things about it by people who have dry skin and they say that it actually moisturizes and lets your uh, foundation stick to it more but if you are somebody who is oily you shouldn't use that because it's it will definitely make your skin more greasy now the other type of skin which generally people have is oily skin for oily skin, if you do not have pores and you have oily skin, you don't really need a pore filling formula. You need something which will mattify. And the best example for that is this NYX Shine Killer. And there are other things in the market too which you could use if you have oily skin and you just want to mattify your face before prime, before a foundation. But this NYX Shine Killer is a very good idea and it's it does work it's really nice it mattify your skin and all those things and it is like a gel and a silicone mixed based sort of thing uh it's not exactly a gel gel but it's not exactly something you could call a silicone based one it doesn't leave a shine it mattifies your skin you could use it before applying your makeup or after applying your makeup but i'll definitely recommend you that you use it before applying your makeup because a primer would definitely help in a better application of your foundation and that's the most important thing because if your foundation is patchy and not really good the whole look is kind of destroyed so this was my take on what primers you should you should use now if you have any specific primers let me know and if you have any other good primers that i've tried for uh pores and all that stuff let me know because i'll definitely like to try them and give me all your comments feedback i'd love to read them and reply back to you and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video that's that with the primers and next time i'll see you with a brand new video and for now i'm saying bye bye take care of yourself i love you guys